Hey guys, so welcome. I thought I'd jump on and talk about a fairer private rented sector, the white paper that's just come out. Now, so this is basically from Michael Gove. It's come from the government. They've been talking about it for years. And this is the one where they're talking about abolishing the Section 21. In other words, the right of the landlord through a no, no fault eviction to remove a tenant. Now, in principle, I mean, we, you know, we manage over 1,300 properties and the reality is most of our landlords never yeah, um, evict tenants for that reason. So the whole basis of this and what I know of the industry, the whole basis for it is that they're penalising the entire industry for what is a little small fraction of percentage, even though the government in their own words would say that it's a massive part. I mean, it's amazing some of the crap that has gone in here um, that I just think is absolute rubbish. Because if you have, for instance, over 50% where they're saying landlords are not compliant, I mean, that's a pretty serious accusation, you know? And I just don't see that at all, you know? And I think really this is a one-sided piece of paper. I mean, if you look at it, there is tenant stuff which just goes page after page after page after page and there's a little bit for the landlords, you know. So is it going to be really bad? Well, what I'll do is I'm going to take you through the main points of this. Now, there's a whole heap of points. It is goes into so much detail. Now, look, if this was going to be implemented properly, um, then actually I don't think landlords have got anything to fear. I think there's not going to be too much of a worry about it. But my fear is it's not. It's going to be a half assed attempt by an incompetent fool's, um, you know, the, the redoing of the court. Only now have we found out still not much detail about it, about what they're going to do, about notice periods, about all this sort of thing. So we'll talk about each of these and the impact for a landlord because, let's face it, you guys, I assume, are landlords and that's where the, tenant, uh, the, the aspects only come from. So if you're a tenant watching this, you know, actually, this is probably, well, you know what, it's not good news for you because what it's going to do is People are going to decide to get out of the industry. We're not building enough homes. And the reality is that the, the availability of homes is less. So actually what's going to happen is rents are going to be driven up. Now, why are the government doing this? Why? And look, this is a whole other story here. The NHS is being ignored. They're pulling resources from it. So the private, tie, private sector has to jump in and do it. This is exactly what is happening with the... Um, private rented sector is they're saying let's withdraw resources make it harder for mum and dads and small time landlords to actually run profitably and as the profit drops okay and as it gets harder and more you know compliance and regulation and all this sort of stuff what's actually going to happen is you're now going to hand it over to the big pension funds who can come in and basically build out huge amounts of property you know in certain areas because let's face it this whole you know and you can call it a conspiracy theory or what maybe I'm going, you know, way, way ridiculous. But the reality is this seems to be the case with the NHS, with a private rent, it is they're handing it over to private enterprise, large corporations. They don't want small actors a part of it anymore. So they're, get, they're doing whatever they can to kick you out. All right. So the trick for us as landlords is we're going to try and make this work for us for as long as possible. Because they'll only do it until yeah, they get out the small landlords and then they'll start making it easier for the big landlords. And you want to be there still you know, fighting and, and you know, making money and doing well um, at that stage because that's where it's heading. Yeah, sure, HMOs and those sort of things, they can push out to the things. But the majority of new stuff is going to be the pension funds and build to rent and all this sort of stuff, which is unfortunate. Um, and that's a pretty cynical view, but I think... That seems to be the way every decision is going, the way things are going. So for me, that's the industry right now.